I'm Moose. Welcome to my art journey and my live stream. I'm so glad you're here. Let's check the chat and see who's here, shall we? I did see that Lorraine and Linda are both here. Thank you, ladies, for being here. I love you. Give it, a, give it up in the chat for my moderators. Claps for my moderators. They're awesome. And I think Doris is still streaming with Mona, so she, she might be a little late when she comes. Um, I see Brock is here. Hey Brock, and I know you're waiting and we're not going to be able to show your knife on stream today. The epoxy is still curing. Um, 
And let's see, I see Susan is here and Mel is here. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining us. Donna's here. Tomo's here. Happy Catter Day. Who else do I see? Deborah is here. Hello, Deborah. Thank you for joining us. That's all I see right now. If you're here and you're not in the chat, jump on in the chat and say hi. We'll say hi back. Thank you for being here. Yes, happy Catter Day. I love it. Okay, let's show you some pours from last week. They look so pretty. So I did. Are we doing this? Okay. I did this pink egg swiped and it looks so beautiful. I've already done the edge in gold. Jane is here. Hey, Jane. Thank you for joining us. So this was egg number one. And then we had egg number two that y'all kept telling me to leave alone. Walk away. It's beautiful. I love it. Simplicity is gorgeous. Thank you, Lorraine. And then we have the beautiful little butterfly that turned out so pretty. I love this, gonna bling this up, that's for sure. All right, let me put these aside and then we will get on to doing something fun. Close up. <laughs> I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeVille. Okay, I am gonna rock it today. <laughs> We're gonna rock our acrylic pour with this gorgeous little rock here. I have a lamp next to my side of the bed that has a swing arm on it and a magnifying uh, glass <laughs> with the ring light. And I use it when I'm crocheting, and so I'm going to have surgery on my back, and after that, I'm going to need to be able to see stuff. And Angie's here. Hey, Angie. Thank you for joining us. Hugs to you, Angie. Love you. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to have recovery time in the bed, and my lamp falls. So my rock is going to keep my lamp from falling over. And I'm gonna do a pour on it today. Fun! So we're gonna we're gonna pour on a rock. We're gonna we're gonna use a split cup, and we're gonna use a sand strainer. And our catch-all is a 20-inch cradleboard round panel, wood panel. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is fill my split cup because a lot of times I'll go ahead and put my background down and I don't have any place to put my cup. So now I have a place to put my cup. So we are going to use leftover paints that have been on my table for way too long, but they are an absolutely gorgeous color palette. Move my chair out of the way. I have greens and purples, surprise, surprise, and teal, surprise, surprise, and pearl white and gold, surprise, surprise. <laughs> this is that uh, gold, uh, gold, this is the green that matches my fingernail um, from my St. Patrick's Day pour, table scrapings. I always reuse my paint. If I can. My drippings. And then we're going to add to that some Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Festive Green. And to that we're going to add some Deco Art Glamour Dust Limelight. I'm squeezing it kind of hard because I want it to 
kind of mix a little. All right, there's that chamber. And then let's go ahead and put our pearl white in this chamber. And we're gonna layer that with some gold. I have some Sigwong Champagne Gold. This is a pigment. Isn't that pretty? And my colors are a little thicker today um, because I'm pouring over the rock. And I'm trying to use up these paints, so. All right, there's that. We'll put some more pearl white in there. Okay, then let's do the teals. I have DecoArt Peacock Teal. Isn't that pretty? This pigment that's Sigwong Blue Silk. Very pretty. And then I have some Sigwong Violet that is more blue than violet, so we're going to put it in with these blues. It's teal. for the purples. We have our Tezza Pearl Royal Purple. And some more Sigwong pigment. This is purple. Just plain purple. I'm shaking. Okay, and then we have light purple. <laughs> Very original with the color names. And then I have a magic purple, which is just an interference color, and it's beautiful. I don't know if it'll mix if I pour it from up high. Not so much. Straighten up this mess over here real quick so I can move around different things. Uh, we'll put our gloves on. Time for struggle cam. <laughs> There's one. This one go on as easily. Put your bets in the chat now. There we go. All right. Yay. I'm looking at the chat right now. Okay. Now we're going to put this aside and we're going to pour black on our base for our base on our thing. This, this is wood round and I have primed it with Folk Art Clear Primer. I did that yesterday. Yes, I chopped my hairs, Angie. It had gotten just a little too long. I'm going to add in some of this, um, I'm going to shake it first, this shimmery black that I have. And we're just going to kind of do that with it. And then I'm going to take my hair dryer 
I'm going to blow this out and we're probably going to have to end up using more paint because I don't think that's enough paint. That is not enough paint. Now I have air bubbles. Let's try that. Let's get rid of the air bubbles first. <laughs> More paint. Lots more paint. A boulder. Yep. Larry's here. Hey, Larry. Hugs to Angie. Just because I always say that. Make sure it's super thin because all we really need is a slip slidey surface. It's a, it's a huge thin nib. <laughs> Rocking out the pour today with a rock. This thing just keeps spinning. Yay. Okay. That looks good. There's little vestiges of the black shimmer in here, which is nice. I like that. Okay. Now we are going to put our sand strainer on our canvas panel. And then we're gonna take our rock, our awesome, awesome rock, and we're gonna put it right here. And I've already tested this, it will hold it. Nice and gently. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Picking this thing back up is what's going to be fun. <laughs> okay, here's our cup and here's our pour. I've never poured on a rock before. I did ask Shannon, the rock painting queen, if I needed to seal this. She said no. Oh, this is going to look like a Easter egg.
from a very scared Easter Bunny. <laughs> This never ending cup. Oh, What's that? Uh, a board with a bed of nails and a Ah, that's a really good idea, Larry. A board with a bed of nails. Still not going to help me pick up this slippery thing. All right. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that or not, but Dub's suggestion is to scooch it off, spin it, and then let it dry where it lands. I don't think so. I have a nice little pan here with some parchment paper in it that I am going to attempt to put the uh, rock in. Let me wipe this down so I don't get it all over the back of that pan. Okay. Here we go. I need to torch it. Looks really cool. Um, um, like so, maybe. Oh, it's heavy. It's so heavy. Don't drop it. 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 Ah! Yay! Safe and sound. For joining us, honey. Yep, slippery when wet, for sure. <laughs> All right, let's take the uh, airbrush and blow this paint down. And then we will take off the sand strainer and reveal the pattern. What will we get? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it looks like the world, like a, a fantasy world. That looks really cool, actually. Hmm. Okay, we're going to torch that, then we're going to spin it. All right, let's move our rock. Not trip over the hair dryer. And give this puppy a spin. All right. Is Natalie here? Rock. Get this and move it this way. Tanya's here. Hey, Tanya. Thank you for joining us. I just poured over a rock. This is my drippings from pouring over the rock. 
<laughs> Dub says next week we'll do the driveway. Okay, I'm gonna give this some more spins. Darth Patty's here. Hey, Pat. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, paint's going all over the place. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, skinny tree with a lot of leaves. That looks really cool. Thank you, Tomo. That looks really neat. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to this. No, he says. Don't touch it, he says. Walk away, they say. Wiping the bottom of the spinner off because it's caked. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay, what am I going to do with this? Just let it sit there and spin and let y'all look at it. Because <laughs> your spinner's probably level. <laughs> Mine's not, so mine keeps spinning. More trunks? More tree trunks? Hmm. Add more trees. I'm, I'm afraid I'd mess it up. I could add. <laughs> Dub's going, oh, no, no. <laughs> Micro swipe a couple of branches. Wait till it dries, Mary says. Swiper 03, 0.03. <laughs> Y'all are a hoot. I love it. Okay. We'll let it dry and we'll see what happens with it. Awesome sauce. I keep touching the bottom of this and getting my gloves all painy. Yeah, I am going to have to pick it up, so don't take my gloves off. I always do that. I take my gloves off before I move my painting. Let's see if I can lift it up. Give y'all a bit of a Close up. As you can see that beautiful green and purple and gold. It's beauty mice. have nowhere to put it to dry. <laughs> so I have it 20 inches round and my baker's rack that I, I dry all my paintings in is only 16 or 18 inches wide. So, <coughs> excuse me. Not enough room in there, so I'm going to have to figure out some kind of box to situation to cover this up so that it doesn't get any kind of dust or anything on it. Because Dub's going to put dust in the air tonight, so i got to get it covered. <laughs> He's going to be making knives. He's been a knife-making fool lately. Gorgeous stuff. Uh, Linda. 
the santaka is almost ready. We're still working on the plaque to hang it on. So when we get all that done, we'll get you some pictures and see if you still want it. Okay. Um, I don't have anything else other than cleaning up this horrid mess that I've made. <laughs> let me let you guys go because I don't want to push my back too much. And let's see, Doris has been streaming over on Mona's channel. Don't know if they're still streaming. If they are, go give them a watch. It's very entertaining. She, Mona's got, it's on Artflow by Mo's uh, channel. And Mona's got two people, or she did have two people there that were singing, playing guitar. Oh, beautiful music. Beautiful. And fun, fun art going on with Doris and Mona. So it's, it's a good time. Y'all should check it out. Um, you're going to the knife shop. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Thank you. She's not going live on hers today because she was on with Mona. But Miss Lorraine Pigments for Hue has a premiere, I do believe. Yep, 802 at her premiere. I don't have the link. I don't know if Linda can grab the link real quick before we head out. Bonnie's here. Hey, Bonnie. Thank you. I didn't see you earlier. Thank you for joining. Oh, there's Mo. There's Mona. Hey, Mona. Thank you. Yeah, Alan Lemille. Is that how you pronounce that? They are, they are awesome. Awesome singers. Yep, they were on for over two hours. They're, they're good streamers. I don't know if Linda's trying to get that link. Thank you, Linda. Okay, Le, Le Chez Boutte, or some people might say it's Le Chatbot. That's Linda. She has posted the link for Lorraine's premiere. Click on that and set your notification. Let's go have a good time with her at 8.02 p.m. Eastern. She did an absolutely gorgeous set of coasters. I think that's the one she put up. <laughs> So thank you so much for being here with us today at the Flowing Canvas. We do appreciate your visits. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you all so very much. Thank you to my moderators for being here. I appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. And I couldn't do it without my viewers. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you have an absolutely lovely, lovely day. And until we meet again, enjoy your journey. Bye, y'all.